In my last tutorial, we learned how to create low poly terrain in Unity, but how do we place a large number of environmental objects onto the terrain like trees and rocks? Placing prefabs by hand as game objects is both slow as well as needlessly CPU and GPU intensive. In this video, we'll learn the best way, which is the paint trees tool. Select your terrain object and then click here to switch to the paint terrain tool. Firstly, we need to create a new tree. Click on edit trees and then add tree. Drag your tree prefab from the assets onto the tree. Now, if we try to paint the trees, we're not able to yet. This is because tree prefabs need to have an LOD group added to them. Open your tree prefab and then add an LOD group component to the root object of the prefab. Then, for each LOD, you need to add the renderer to the list here. If you have different LOD models, then add the respective models here. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I will just drag the same renderer from the tree model onto every LOD. As you can see, we are now able to paint trees onto the terrain. Similarly to with other brushes, you can change the size as well as the density of the trees. You're also able to select a random range for the tree height and width, as well as enable random rotations and colors. Finally, there is a mass place trees option that lets you uniformly add trees randomly to the terrain. This can then be manually adjusted using the brush. Despite the name, the great thing about the Paint Trees tool is that we can use it for all kinds of objects, not just trees. For example, here I'm using it to add rocks, grass and other objects. That's all for now. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to get more videos like this one in the future. I'd love to see what you make with this tutorial, so if you have something to show off, make sure to join my Discord server. Finally, if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to make or topics you want me to cover, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.